Hello and welcome to another tutorial on my channel. On this video I will show you how to crochet this scrub. It's easy and fast to make. And it's slow sew, you need to sew only the ears. That's how it looks like from the bottom. So stay with me, subscribe my channel, and let's start. So the materials that you will need to crochet this scrub are velvet thick yarn, red color. I'm using 50 grams for 60 meters. Any other plush yarn would work great also. And for this tutorial, I'm going to use this pink yarn. You will need a four millimeter crochet hook, pair of scissors, a needle, stitch marker, black thin yarn to make the smile, 8 mm safety eyes, and stuffing, filling fiber to fill your crab. The stitches that you will need to know to make this crab are magic circle, single crochet, increase, decrease, slip stitch, you will also need back loop only and front loop only, which I'm going to show you how to do it. So if you don't know them, that's fine. I will show you. Let's start. First thing we do is crochet the legs. So take your yarn and start with a magic circle. And now for row one, we're going to make five single crochets into the magic circle. One, two, three, four, and five. Take the end of the tail and pull. This yarn sometimes makes me so crazy. It breaks so easy. Okay, so I finished row one and I have five stitches around. Take a stitch marker and put it into the last stitch that you made. Now for row two, until row four, that means total of three rows, we're going to make five single crochets in each row, which means one single crochet in each stitch around. So let's do one row together. First stitch, make a single crochet. Second stitch, make a single crochet. For the stitch, make a single crochet, fourth stitch, single crochet, and now we go to the stitch, stitch marker. We know that it's the last stitch of the row, so you take it out and do the last single crochet. That's five. Now we finished row two and we have five stitches around. Take your stitch marker and put it on the last stitch that you made. Now we go two more rows of one single crochet in each stitch. Go and do those two rows and I will meet you when I finish them. I finished those two rows. And now we're going to finish off. So we do a slip stitch into the next stitch. Then chain one and you can cut your yarn. We don't need to leave tail because we're going to sew it 
I mean, we're not going to sell it. We're going to add it while we keep crocheting. So pull. And that's one leg. Now we can just put those tails back in the leg, into the leg, or just cut it. So that's one leg, you're going and repeat that for five more legs, exactly the same. Just pause the video and come back when you have six legs. I already made them, here they all are. So when we finish, we continue to the claw, which are those two, this one and this one. So for the clothes, we're going to make two parts. Part one, we're going to make a magic circle. And we're going to do four single crochets into the magic circle. One. Two, three, and four. Take the end of the tail and pull. So that's all one. Take your stitch marker, put it into the last stitch that you made. And now we're going to make two rows of four single crochets which means two rows of one single crochet in each stitch. So you go into the first stitch, do a single crochet, second stitch, single crochet, third stitch, single crochet, and we go to the stitch with the stitch marker, take it out and make the last crochet so we finished all two and we have four stitches around take your stitch marker and put it into the last stitch we're going to make another row another row exactly the same so in the first stitch, make a single crochet, second stitch, okay. Stitch, make a single crochet, third stitch, make a single crochet, and fourth and last, take out the stitch marker and make a single crochet. Now we want to finish off this part. Just make a slip stitch into the next stitch. Cut the yarn. We don't need to leave any tail. And pull. Now you can just cut that and hide the tail into the part we made. We're 
well okay so that's part one now for part two of the claw we're going to take the yarn again and start with a magic circle And for row one, we're going to make five single crochets into the magic circle. So, one, two, three, four, and five. Take the end of the tail and pull. Okay. We finished row one, we have five stitches around. Take your stitch marker into the last stitch that you made. And now we're going to make two more rows of five single crochets, which means two more rows of one single crochet in each stitch around. So into the first stitch. make a single crochet, second stitch, single crochet, third stitch, make a single crochet, fourth stitch, single crochet, and we go to the stitch with the stitch marker, which is the last, take it out and make last single crochet. So we finished row two and we have and we have five stitches around. Take your stitch marker into the last stitch. And we're going to make another row just the same. So just single crochet around. That's one, two, three. For last stitch with the stitch marker, take it out and make the last single crochet. Now with this part we're not going to finish off, we're going to continue and attach to the first part. So you take your first part and here we have the four stitches. And what we're going to do now is do single crochet in each stitch around in this leg. So just go into any stitch of this leg and you're going to make a single crochet like that. So that's one single crochet into the next stitch of the leg of the first part. Make a single crochet. That's two. Next stitch, single crochet. That's three. And next stitch, make a single crochet. That's four. Now you're going to go into the last stitch of the second part. And do a single crochet, that's one. Next stitch, single crochet, that's two. Next stitch, single crochet, that's three. Next stitch, single crochet, that's four. And next stitch, make a single crochet, that's five. So that's how we attached those pieces those parts and now we're going to put the stitch marker into the last stitch that we made. For row five we are going one two three four five six seven eight nine we are going to start with a decrease
I'm using invisible decrees. You can do a regular decrees if that's what you know. Decrease, then single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, then another decrease, single crochet in the next stitch. single crochet in the next stitch and last stitch make a single crochet now we're going to do two more rows of seven single crochets around which means two rows of one single crochet in each stitch so take your stitch marker into the last stitch that you made and you're going to do single crochet in each stitch. So one single crochet in the first, single crochet in the second, single crochet in the third, single crochet in the fourth, single crochet in the fifth single crochet into the sixth stitch and take the stitch marker out of the stitch and make the single crochet into the seventh stitch now you go and do one more row of one single crochet in each stitch stitch marker into the last stitch that we made and let's do the row one two just single crochet in each stitch three four five Six and last one, take the, the, the stitch marker and make the single crochet and the seven. Now we're going to make a slip stitch into the next stitch, chain one and cut the yarn. Don't need to leave a tail because we're going to add it to the body while we crochet so just pull by the way i'm not stuffing those clothes and legs isn't necessary for me so just hide those tails Or just cut them off and now you go and make another cloth just the same I already made so here I have two ready so pause go and do another one and we will continue when you're done so we've done the two clothes and the six legs now we're going to make the eyes so take your yarn and do a magic circle and for row one we're going to make eight single crochets into the magic circle one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
take the end of the yarn and pull. So we finished all one and we have eight stitches around. Take your stitch marker into the last stitch that you made. And now we're going to make three rows of eight single crochet in each row, which means three rows of one single crochet in each stitch around. Let's row together and then we go and do two more. So into the first stitch, single crochet, that's one. Next single crochet, two. Next stitch, single crochet, three. Four, five, six, seven, and last stitch here with a stitch marker. Take it out and make the last single crochet. So you've done row number two, and now you go and make two more rows of eight single crochet. And I will meet you after those two rows. So I just finished those two rows. Now we're going to finish off. So do a slip stitch into the next stitch. Chain one and we're going to cut the yarn. Leave tail to sew to the body. Approximately that side. And you pull like that. Now we're going to put the eye to insert the safety eye on that. So just put it in the middle like that. Okay, now take the plastic washer and just close it. Like that. Now you go and make exactly the same one and I will meet you and just come back when you finish the eye to continue to the body part. Okay, so the parts that we have now are the two eyes, six legs, and two claws. Now we're going to work on the body, and we're going to start from the top to the bottom. And while we crochet, we will just add the legs and claws, and then at the end we will sew the eyes. So for the body, we are going to start with a magic circle. And for row one, we're going to make six single crochets into the magic circle. One, two, Three, four, five, and six. The end of the yarn and pull. We finished row one and we have six stitches around. Take your stitch marker and put it into the last stitch that you made. Okay, and for row two, we're going to make six increases. So into the first stitch, make an increase, which means single crochets into the same stitch. So that's one. Next stitch, make an increase. 
and you keep going for six times until you get to the stitch marker. Just do increase all the way around, and I will meet you when I finish the I finished row two and now I have 12 stitches around. Take your stitch marker back into the last stitch that you made. And now for row three, we're going to do single crochet in the first stitch and then an increase into the second stitch. We're going to repeat that for total six times until we get to the stitch marker and finish the row. So let's do it twice together. Single crochet in the first stitch then an increase into the second stitch. That's one time. Let's repeat it one more time together. Single crochet in the next stitch, then an increase into the next stitch. We've done it twice. Now you go and repeat it all the way around until you get to the stitch marker, and I will meet you when I finish the row. Finish row three and we have 18 stitches around. Take your stitch marker into the last stitch. From now on, just so that every time we finish a row, you just take the stitch marker and put it into the last stitch that you made. This way we know where we finish the row. So now for row number four, we're going to make increase into the first stitch, single crochet into the second stitch, single crochet into the third stitch. And we're going to repeat it for total six times until we get to the stitch marker. Let's do it twice together. So you start with an increase into the first stitch. Then a single crochet into the second stitch. And a single crochet into the third stitch. That's one time. Let's repeat it one more time together. Make an increase into the next stitch. Then a single crochet on the second stitch, a single crochet into the third stitch. Now you continue all the way around and I will meet you when I finish the row. Finished row four and now we have 24 stitches around. Don't forget to put the stitch marker into the last stitch that you made. Now for row five, we're going to do single crochet in the first three stitches and then an increase into the fourth stitch. We're going to repeat that for total six times. So let's do it twice together. Single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet in the second stitch, single crochet in the third stitch, and an increase into the fourth stitch. That's one time. Let's repeat one more time together. Single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet on the second stitch, single crochet on the third stitch, and then an increase into the fourth stitch. So now we've done it twice. Now we keep going all the way around until you get to the stitch marker, and I will meet you when I finish the row. Just finished row five, and I have 30 stitches around. Now for rows six and seven, which are two rows, we're going to make one crochet in each stitch around which will be total of 30 rows 30 stitches I'm sorry 30 stitches in each row so you're going to do two rows one single crochet in each stitch and I will meet when I'm done with those two rows I finished those two rows and now we have 30 stitches around for row number eight, we're going to use the back loop only and do one single crochet in each stitch around, which will be total 30 stitches. So how we do back loop only? So in each stitch, you have two loops. The front loop, which is this one, and the back loop, which is this one. So now we're going to pick only the back loop in each stitch and just do regular single crochet. I will show you a few times. So take your hook in the first stitch, take only the back loop. This is the front loop. This is the back loop. 
so you put, pick the back loop only and the general regular single crochet that's one into the next stitch you take the back loop only and do single crochet that's two next stitch back loop only that's three next stitch back loop only and just repeat that all the way around until you get to the stitch marker using only the back loops and I will meet you when I finish the whole one so I just finished the whole one and as you can see, now we have this loop from last stitch, which is the front loop. And we're going to use it later to make this around the body. Okay. So, finish row number 8 with 30 stitches around. For row number 9, we're going to attach all the parts, I mean the legs and the clothes. And what we're going to do is do three single crochets, just regular ones. Now you're going to take a claw, one of them, and you want to make sure that the thicker part is what you're going to start with. I mean this side and not this side where is the thin, thin part. So you want to start from here. So you pick the front so what you're going to do is flat your claw and take your hook into the front stitch and straight into the back stitch like that so you have two stitches on your hook and you're going to do single crochet so go into the next stitch of the body and just complete a single crochet, go through all the stitches, one stitch from the body and two stitches of the claw and finish your single crochet like that. Now you're going to take the last two stitches just pick the one here and straight to the back stitch like that I have now two stitches on my hook and into the next of the body and just make a single crochet go through all those stitches together So that's how it looks like and let's continue. Now we're going to take a leg and also just flat it like that. Take front stitch straight into a back stitch like that. Now I have two stitches on the hook and straight into the next stitch of the body which is this one and just make a single crochet now you go to the last stitch and straight into the 
back stitch like that I have two stitches on my hook and straight into the next stitch of the body and do single crochet okay now you take another leg and just do the same flat your leg join with the hook into the front stitch and the back stitch and straight into the next stitch of the body which is this one and make a single crochet now the last stitch and the back stitch together and into the body into the next stitch of the body do a single crochet and one more leg flat take the front stitch and the back stitch like that into the next stitch of the body and make a single crochet and the last stitch straight with the back stitch together into the next stitch of the body and make a single crochet so that's how it looks like for now and what we're going to do now is seven single crochets one just continue only with the body stitches next stitch single crochet that's third make single crochet fourth single crochet fifth make a single crochet six single crochet and sevens make a single crochet Now you're going to take another leg and just do the same. Flat the leg, take the stitch and the back stitch like that and straight to the next stitch of the body which is this one and make a single crochet. Last the leg and the back one together like that into the next stitch of the body and a single crochet do the same with two more legs That's one and just another one. Okay, and now take the claw, make sure that you start where the thin part is, 
which means here and not here. Here is the thick part, here is the thin part. You go, all the stitches from the thin part side. So front stitch and back stitch together. Into the next stitch of the body, single crochet. And the last stitch and the back stitch and into the body next stitch of it and just make another single crochet and now just make four single crochets one two three and last stitch with a stitch marker take it out and make a single crochet so let's see what we have now that's how it looks like when we will fill it with stuffing it won't be like a point shape it will be like that so don't worry and great now we're going to continue so take the stitch marker and put it at the last stitch that you made and now for row 10 we're going to start decreasing what we're going to do is single crochet in the first three stitches and then make a decrease. We're going to repeat that for total six times until we get to the stitch marker. So let's do it twice together. So single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet in the second stitch, single crochet in the third stitch, and now you make a decrease I'm going to use invisible decrease you can again just do regular decrease if you don't know how so we've done it one time let's do it one more time together single crochet in the first stitch single crochet in the second stitch single crochet into the third stitch and decrease so that's twice now you go and repeat it all the way around until you get to the finish marker and i will meet you when i finish the row i finished row 10 and now we have 24 stitches around for row number 11 we're going to make a decrease and then single crochet in the next two stitches we repeat that for total six times until we get to the stitch marker let's do it twice together so start with a decrease then you make a single crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet into the next stitch so that's one time let's repeat that one more time together Start with decrease, then do single crochet into the next stitch, and then do single crochet into the next stitch. So that's twice. Now you go and repeat that all the way around until you get to the stitch marker, and I will meet you when I finish the row. So I finished row number 11, and I have 18 stitches around. Now we're going to put some stuffing into the crab. So just pull your hook like that and get some stuffing.
Don't stuff too much. Next toe we'll put some more stuffing. Okay. Now we can continue to row number 12. And what we're going to do now is single crochet in the first stitch and then do a decrease. And we're going to repeat that for six times until we get to the stitch marker. So let's do it twice together. Single crochet in the first stitch, then a decrease. That's one time. Let's repeat that one more time together. Single crochet in the first stitch, then make a crease. So I've done it twice. Now you keep going all the way around, and I will meet you when I finish the row. Finished row 12, and I have 12 stitches around. For row 13 and last, we're going to make six decreases, but before that, you can just put some more stuffing if you didn't put enough. Okay. So just decreases all the way around. Let's do twice together. So that's one decrease. That's two decreases. Now you go and do all the way around until you get to the stitch marker. And I will meet you when I finish the row to show you how we finish off. I finished the row. Now to finish off, you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch that you made. Just slip stitch and then you chain one and cut your yarn. Leave tail to sew and close this little hole that's left for us. That would be enough. And pull. Now, take your needle and bring this tail through the needle. And I know my finish off way is different from everyone, but I find it better look and much easier to do. So you take your needle into the front loop stitch, which is at the other place of this tail, which is just here, like that, and pull. Now, front loop of this stitch into the front loop of this stitch and pull. Then pull tight and it gives it a much better look and very easy way to make it. Now you want to make it unable to open so bring the needle into the body, out of the body next stitch to that, pull and when you have a small hole, small loop, just bring your needle through and pull. Now just hide the yarn, bring it into the body and out from a different place. Take the scissors, cut your yarn and what we have for now is that. So now we're going to work on this around the body all the way. 
So what you're going to do is join a new yarn. Make sure it's not at the front. You go to the back side. And as you can see, all those loops is the front loop of the back loop only we made before. So you take your hook into one of those loops at the back side, like that. Join the yarn, go through this loop, and just chain one. Now pull the air, and we are going to work from here. One single crochet in each front loop around. So pick the next front loop and just make a single crochet. Pick the next front loop and make a single crochet. Pick the next front loop, make a single crochet. Next front loop, and just go all the way around until you get here to the beginning. And I will meet you there to show you how we attach to the first chain, to the first stitch, and how we finish off. So keep going, single crochet in each front loop. So I've done all the way around. And I got now here to the beginning. So what you're going to do is a slip stitch into the first stitch that we made. You skip the first the first chain we made at the beginning and just do a single a slip stitch into the second stitch that you made. So just slip stitch. Now you chain one and you want to cut the yarn, leave a very short tail. Now pull like that and we have those end yarns left here. So take your needle Pick one of them, doesn't really matter. And just bring it through the body and out to the same stitch, to the same place of the second yarn. Just pull and make two knots. one and two cut your yarn and you can just hide that with the back of the needle like that into the body okay so that's how it looks like for now Now we just have the smile and the eyes. So first of all, we want to sew the eyes on top of the body. To sew the eyes, I recommend to use long pins or long needles to place the eyes and make them unable to move while you sew them on. So first of all you want to place them in the middle like that. And what I'm going to do is use my needles and bring into the body 
like that one and two from the other side so first I'm going to work on this eye I prefer to go with the needle first of all into the body and then bring it out of the body then from the inside to the outside of the next stitch like that and you pull just to do that around Before you finish closing the eye, just make sure that you add some stuffing into the eye. Just keep going stitch by stitch. Now you can just take them out because it won't move anymore and continue sewing. Now I have that and I have a small loop here so I'm going to take some stuffing and just stuff a little bit. And continue sewing. And the last stitch into the body and out. Now we want to make it unable to open, so take your needle into the body and out one stitch next to that. And when you have a small loop, just bring the needle through and pull. Now hide your yarn into the body out from a different place. And you can cut your yarn. Now that's how it looks like. Now you go and do the second one the same as we did this one. First you want to place it, then put pins or needles to make it unable to move, sew around, don't forget to stuff and I will meet you when I finish with the second eye. So I just finished sewing the second eye, that's how it looks like. 
and now we have only the smile so what you're going to do is take your black thin yarn and using a needle you are going to bring the needle into the body approximately from here and out approximately here and pull until you have a small yarn here, short yarn here. Now you take your needle, make sure it at the same row and bring your needle into here. Then one row down in the middle between the smile between these and these parts bring it in and pull slowly like that now take your needle above this smile into the same stitch as we bought in the black yarn and out from the beginning and pull and like that now make two knots with those two pieces of yarn That's one, and another one. Cut, and now you can hide with the back of the needle, like that. So here is our second curve. Hope you liked, please subscribe if you still didn't and see you on the next tutorial, bye!